happy video day guys Christina Brooke here today we are gonna be doing an anti haul <laughs> we are going to be going through some of the brand new makeup releases that I have not even looked at at trend mood like I have not looked at trend mood in so long I think it's like nothing has inspired me when it comes to makeup lately so I'm gonna actually open up trend mood I'm gonna look through all of the brand new launches and probably tell you guys why I don't want to pick them up um, I think this is going with my new kind of with my new idea of being very selective with what i pick up only because i don't feel like there's that many things that are really drawing me in like to purchase myself so i am going to share with you guys why a lot of this stuff i don't want to get because there is a lot of reasons so anyways that's what we're gonna do if you like videos like this one don't forget to go ahead and hit subscribe and let's get into um trashing some makeup <laughs> So I just opened this up and I just saw right now a new post from Dior. So it looks like Dior is going to be releasing their Forever Natural Matte Velvet Compact Foundation. $60. So here's the thing is that anytime I see these powder foundations, I feel like... I don't like the way they look. To me, they just look too powdery. I like liquid foundations, definitely for $60. I'm not really interested in it. Matte foundations that are in powder form for me are so drying on my skin. I'm definitely not interested at, in that at all. Okay, so a lot of people have been talking about this. So e.l.f. is releasing the Halo Glow Liquid Filter. So I have heard people saying that this is their version of a Charlotte Tilbury um, Flawless Filter product. It kind of interests me only because I want to see if this is a cheaper version of that. So will I pick it up? I might. I might pick this one up only because, to be honest, that is kind of cool that they would create something similar to what Charlotte already has. And we all know Charlotte's price points are so high. And e.l.f. has been pretty consistent with creating some really good products. So if I don't get this in PR from e.l.f., I probably will end up picking it up because it is kind of interesting. So... There goes my idea of an anti-haul with that one. Okay, so I already did a Make Up Your Mind on this Too Faced palette. So this is the Better Than Chocolate palette. So I was even looking at it on the Trend Mood website and they kind of like showed the palette. They had it open and everything. And I still think that it looks so much like my Metropolis palette. Like there is brighter colors in here than Metropolis. Maybe like the blue and stuff, it looks a little brighter. But just to me, it's not really like something that I would run and want to buy to be honest. So I am like totally skipping out on this one. I want to know from you guys, what do you think? It's not an ugly color story. It's actually pretty. And like I said, it reminds me so much of Metropolis. Like it just reminds me of Metropolis. If you don't own Metropolis, maybe this would be an interesting um, route for you to take. But I also don't like the Too Faced, their stuff smells and I really can't stand scents. And they also increased their prices to like $54. It's just it's like so much that I'm like, no, 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 no. So this is interesting that Makeup Forever has launched a new lip product. It's their Makeup Forever Rouge Artist um, Ever Matte 24 Hour Longwear Liquid Lips. So I do like Makeup Forever. I think my Makeup Forever has really, really good products and I think that this one looks kind of interesting. I really like the packaging and everything, but let's be honest right now, I don't need no more lip products. I think that it's not interesting enough for me to like jump on and actually want to buy it. So I'm definitely not gonna pick that up. I feel like brands right now, you need to knock me off my socks. One year one brand with Rare Beauty already that I'm picking up all their products. I pick up a lot of stuff from Natasha Denona and Pat McGrath. I think if it doesn't really like knock my socks off, I'm definitely not gonna be picking this up, especially this year. This year is just such a strange year. Um, so Hourglass has announced that they're going to be releasing their Ambient Soft Glow Foundation. So it is a glowy foundation. The last um, Hourglass foundation was way too drying and way too matte for me. It looked terrible on me. Um, this one's $58. It's going to be in 32 shades. I'm interested only because it has the soft glow. I like glowy foundations. Now the only thing is sometimes when it says glow in it, it doesn't really mean hydrating. So I'm going to have to look into this 
this because if it's not a hydrating product, then somebody like me and my type of skin, it actually will dry me out. Like they put like a glowiness to it, but the foundation's not glowy or the foundation's not hydrating. So I have to look into it. Foundations are actually kind of tricky. And even though I love trying different products, my skin type's difficult to like really agree with foundations. So I try to pick foundations that actually will work for me because I mean, the ones that don't are just, it's not worth it. It's not even worth trying anymore. Look at this, we have a Sephora favorite set that's already available. Are we getting into holiday sets soon? Oh goodness, guys, I cannot. This year has been a whirlwind. So many things to share with you guys by the end of this year. So I just feel like this year has been like a, so I am, I'm still, I'm, I'm still in 2021, I think. Um, so this is the Gleamy Dreamy All Over Face Makeup Set. It's $40 and yeah, it has some pretty cool stuff. It has the Makeup Forever um, lip liner, which I love. Wow, it has an Anastasia um, mascara, Better Than Sex, a Tower Beauty product. This actually looks like it's pretty interesting. Oh, it has that Fenty um, lip gloss with, for your finger that everybody made fun of last year. So that's interesting. <laughs> I don't know, but it does actually look like a kind of cute set. Actually, probably a good gift as well. Let's see, we've got some stuff from ColourPop that I'm not even gonna waste my time with because it doesn't look interesting. Ooh, Lancome is releasing the Wear Care Glow Foundation with Hyaluronic Acid. You see like this one might be more interesting to me than the one from Hourglass because it actually is a medium coverage, but it is a hyaluronic acid one. So this is actually going to give hydration back into the skin. I like this one probably more than the Hourglass one. I'm gonna read both of them and see if there's one that I wanna pick up. Actually, let me know down below which one you guys want me to get. But this one is actually talking to me a little bit more, like actually saying like, Christina, this is probably better for your skin than the other one. So we shall see. So Charlotte Tilbury came out with some more kissing lipsticks that look like the same colors that she always releases. Loving the blinged out casing. I actually really like the one that I got once from her that had like the same casing. It was called like what, Nude Romance or something like that. But these all look the same to me. I feel like she like recycles her lip colors. Like she puts just like a little bit of a tint inside of them. But I guess I mean, how many colors can you really create? Um, so yeah, it looks kind of similar to the one I bought last year, so not really interested. Um, what else do we have here? Oh, so let's talk about the Pat McGrath palette. So Pat McGrath has released, is going to release the Moonlit Seduction palette. Now, I'm gonna do a make up your mind on this one. I'm actually working on it. Um, will it be up before this video? I'm not sure. If it is, I will put it in the cards but I'm working on it because I really want to see if I can find this color story really good and she hasn't released any swatches yet so I'm kind of holding off to see if I see swatches. If I don't get to see swatches, there is some images that she's released that I can kind of work with, but I'm just holding off just a little bit longer because the release date is actually on, so the release date is July 22nd. So. And I think that the early access will probably be a little bit earlier, maybe the day before or something. But I'm just, I'm holding off just a little bit longer before I do my Make Up Your Mind on it. But who knows, it'll probably be up before this video because I'll probably get it done by the weekend. But um, this reminds me a lot of Divine Rose 1, which I just finished getting at 50, 50, 50% 50 off. No, it was like for $30 or something like that from her website, which was ridiculous. But yeah, I ended up just getting Divine Rose 1. This reminds me of Divine Rose 1's sister. Am I mad at that? Not really, because I love Dis Divine Rose 1. It's like insanely good. So I'm looking at this one and it's kind of calling my attention and I know some people think it's boring, but I mean, sometimes boring can be good, right? Especially if you feel like you're gonna use the boring a lot. I feel like I might use this boring a lot. And I really love the case on this one. This gold with pink is just so pretty. So I haven't been excited about any Pat McGrath launch and I need to see if those two shades that are in there are pink. They look like they might be a little bit more plummy, which if they're plummy, I'll be happier. If they're pink, I'll be like annoyed, but it's calling to me. It's not like screaming, but it's calling. So I, I need to see better swatches. That's the only reason I've held off on even doing a Make Up Your Mind or even really talking about it too much because I'm not sure, like these, Pat McGrath loves to put so many filters and editing on top of her pictures that I'm like, I don't know what this looks like. 
I want to know what it looks like. I, I don't know yet. So Kevin Aquan has released some visionary collection eyeshadow palettes, four different palettes, $36 each. I don't know, is Kevin Aquan not doing too good? I like I like these palettes. Like I don't love any of these palettes. I also feel like for $36 being Kevin Aquan, I think that's kind of inexpensive, right? I don't know. But um I don't know. Are these any good? Are you interested in them? I feel like nobody is. So let's keep going. So we have some new products from Kylie, which I'm not interested in. Ooh, the new Rare Beauty lipsticks, which I actually have on today, and you guys are gonna be seeing a video on very, very soon. Spoiler alert, I think that they're really, really good, but I'm testing out the formula, so we'll see. But yeah, that's a really interesting product. I like that Rare Beauty is including lipsticks because I think her brand is pretty great. Um, what else do we have? Let's see, we already talked about the Nordstrom sale, which is probably gonna be ending very soon, and literally everything that I liked was sold out. <laughs> I was like, wow, that was like the first year that's ever happened to me so quickly. Boring, 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 yeah. And everything else just has me going wah, 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 boring. So I'm not, like you guys can see, like, yeah, there's some things that are interesting, but I do feel like lately, a lot of stuff has been kind of just like, in the middle like there's nothing that I feel like I want to jump at and in a way it's a good thing because we are going into some like really weird times I feel so I mean I guess in a way it's a good thing that there's not that much out there for a lot of people to not get their minds like set on buying a bunch of stuff especially right now that things are so uncertain you know but there isn't really that much interesting stuff so that's good right <laughs> We don't get to spend our money, but there is some cool stuff. Let me know from any of the things that I kind of told you guys about, if there's any of them that you actually want me to pick up and try, because I will. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.